Well, hello and welcome to our fireside chats on ulcerative colitis. My name is Evan and I have ulcerative colitis. I've been diagnosed since I was a child. And today I'd like to talk to you about a medication, my experience with it, called prednisone. Now, this isn't medical advice. This is purely a observational documentary on the medication prednisone that is observing myself and no one else. Oral prednisone is a medication that is sometimes used in ulcerative colitis. It's an anti-inflammatory medication uh, of the corticosteroid class. Um, it must be concerted, converted to prednisolone, um, which happens in the liver, uh, to be effective and uh, biolyactive active in your body. Now, when you have mild to moderately active ulcerative colitis, as when I was prescribed this medication, the doctor prescribed prednisone for me. Um, I was prescribed 40 milligrams of prednisone a day. Now, Cleveland Clinic agrees with that prescription um, that I've read on their website for mild to moderately active ulcerative colitis that is not responsive to 5 ASA drugs such as Acicol or uh, Lyalda medications such as that then a dose of prednisone may be used at 40 milligrams um, and my doctor works with me as far as how to adjust my dosage as I go along. Um, once again, this isn't medical advice, just an observation of what happened to me with prednisone and talking about the science of prednisone. Um, the dosing of prednisone can be from 5 to 60 milligrams uh, every day. Um, it's, you, it's an anti-inflammatory drug can also be used as an anti-neoplastic uh, drug, um, sometimes used to treat cancer patients, um, other inflammatory conditions as well, uh, and it's an immunosuppressant. Um, so it increases your chances of getting sick and the body, in a human body, might not be able to fight off the infections as well when uh, prednisone is being used. Um, the mechanism of action of prednisone, different from uh, uh, other anti-inflammatories, um, but also the same, um, inhibits COX-2 and cytokine in the body. Um, it blocks the action of vitamin D in the bone cells, so you're, that's where the side effect of your osteoporosis comes from, if you've heard about that. Um, if you're studying the drug. Um, it also modifies the genes that, uh, that work with collagenase in the body, so where your skin problems come from, your poor wound healing as well. Um, and it also um, is absorbed in the gut. Well, prednisone can cause some side effects. Um, some of those side effects uh, that, that can be that, that can it, it can cause in the literature um, include euphoria, headaches, inability to sleep, confusion, uh, nausea, vomiting, weak muscles, um, osteoporosis. Fractures, we talked about the wound healing, um, systemic immunosuppression, so infections, acne, all these things, all these things. Now, for me, what I have experienced with the prednisone, um, sometimes you, I have a little increased appetite. I definitely want to eat more. Uh, I keep a high carbohydrate vegan diet, 
for my health. Um, it's it's a whole foods focused plant based diet. Um, so I don't eat a lot of fat this time being on prednisone. But in the past, I have gained weight on prednisone. Definitely have gained weight on prednisone. Um, now I'm not eating so much. Well, eating a lot, but not eating a lot of junk food. I'm, I'm not noticing that I'm gaining weight on this round of prednisone. Um, prednisone uh, also causes me to have some insomnia, difficulty sleeping at night. Um, sometimes you do feel like you like I, you may have, or I'm talking about me. Sometimes I feel like maybe I'm a little weak uh, in the muscles. Um, nothing that affects my daily life by any means, but it. I definitely feel that difference uh, as a side effect. Um, now that I'm on a lower dose and my doctor's working with me on a taper, I'm not feeling so much of the side effects. Um, part of the reason why I'm on the prednisone now is because I have moderate to severe activity with my ulcerative colitis, as well as extra colonic symptoms of significant arthralgia associated with inflammatory bowel disease in the large peripheral joints and muscles of my body um, to the point where it's very difficult to lift heavy objects because of the pain and the prednisone is mediating that um, and probably bringing my chronic pain level from a from around a seven to about a four um, on a 10 pain scale of chronic pain. We, uh, it's, it makes it tolerable and we're on a taper and hopefully that I will be able to get off the of prednisone uh, because the being on prednisone in the long run is just not going to work for me. So I hope that this examination of my experience on prednisone was interesting for you. And thank you for coming to our fireside chat. We're going to have a cup of coffee. We're going to enjoy our evening. And Sarah here, Sarah, sit. Good girl, Sarah. Sarah's here with us. And we'll see you next time when we discuss ulcerative colitis, the symptoms, the lifestyle, and the treatment of.